Hey there everybody! Today we are here in South Dakota and we're riding a rail trail that we've heard so much about over the years but have finally gotten a chance to ride. We are on the Mickelson Trail. So the Mickelson Trail is a Hall of Fame uh, rail trail. Yes, that is a thing. And it's a 108 mile rail trail that connects the towns of Edgemont and Deadwood. It was built around a railroad that was abandoned in 1983 and formerly the trail was known as the Black Hills Burlington Northern Heritage <laughs> Rail Trail. A mouthful. And it was uh, renamed to the Mickelson Trail named after the governor at the time, George Mickelson. We rode a little bit of the rail trail yesterday from Custer and it was really dang good. What do you, what do you think? I thought it was incredibly beautiful. Um, we're here, it's late June, so everything is still green, uh, which is incredible. So you've got trees, you've got rocks, and uh, deer, and all sorts of critters, cool birds. Other fact you should know about this uh, rail trail is in order to ride it, um, you do have to get a, what do they call it, a trail? Trail pass. Trail pass, which is $4 per person per day. Uh, I think it's well worth it. There's a fair amount of facilities along the way, places to have a picnic. The money is being well spent. What's that? So that is incredibly idyllic right here. We have a babbling brook, we have a young buck. <laughs> it's like we're riding through the Shire. So the section today that we're riding is uh, leaving the Hill City Trailhead, heading north. So the surfaces in town are paved, uh, generally kind of like a wide paved sidewalk. But once you leave the town, it becomes a kind of like a pea gravel surface. You could do it on road bike, but something with a little bit wider tires would be nice. A totally rideable uh, kind of non-technical surface. One thing I really love about this trail so far is that it's not flat. <laughs> Even though it's a rail trail and so the grades are really reasonable, we're also riding through the Black Hills. So up and down, lots of interesting curves, just keeps the route, you know, interesting. <laughs> So you're probably wondering, there are 108 miles of trail. Why ride this section? So we started from Hill City because uh, there is a nice trailhead that is right off the highway and thus easily uh, accessible from where we are staying in Custer and gives us access to what is generally considered the prettiest stretch of the trail uh, because there are a bunch of tunnels, bridges, and it diverts from the highway so it is quieter. So you could do the whole thing. Um, from what I understand, the southern end isn't as interesting. It's a little bit flatter, that transition from prairie to the hills. Uh, so if you like seeing things, the nature, um, then you want to generally start a little bit further north or somewhere in the middle. So we're taking a little bit of a shade break because it's hot, but if you're in the area, you should totally pick up one of these maps. It's also online and it's really useful. It gives you not only the distance between trailheads, but also gives you a sense of elevation. As you can see, you're either climbing or you're descending, which is part of what makes this trail really interesting. So we left from here, Hill City. Uh, we think we're somewhere over here and our goal is to at least check out some of the tunnels over there. I think we've hit the top of uh, the hill here so it's a nice chill like three to five percent descent. You can pretty much just sit back and enjoy the ride. So we're going downhill we just passed a group of cyclists. Uh, Laura asked them where they were from and apparently it was a group tour by this company called Pork Belly Adventures. Uh, based out of Iowa. So you can see it's super heavily trafficked by everyone from all over the country. 
Looks like we're coming up to a trestle here. Pretty nice. Not bad. So we've been descending for quite a bit. What do you think about that? <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> Just a real nice cruisy, cruisy descent. So we've hit this stretch where we're about to encounter the tunnels. Hopefully they're not super long because I don't have any lights. Do you have lights? Oh, that's a good point. <laughs> Um, no, I don't think I packed my lights. Okay, so we'll just use our phones if they're super long. <laughs> okay, so this is the tunnel. It's so cool looking. It looks like a tunnel that you'd see at a, at a Disneyland, you know, uh, amusement thing or something. You can see the end of it, so no lights necessary, thankfully. Yay! It looks really beautiful with the, with the woodwork. Yeah. Very artisanal tunnel. It's not just uh, exposed rock. That was cool! That was really, really cool. I would say out of the tunnels that we've ridden, that'd be a solid eight, eight and a half out of ten. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, yeah, I feel like even though we've ridden through a lot of tunnels at this point, like I never get tired of them. <laughs> They're always cool. Yeah. All right, we are approaching tunnel number two. Yay, tunnel number two. The Mystic Trailhead. I think we're gonna have lunch here. Uh, there's some water, this really nice little shaded area. So, so totally worth the four bucks a day, I think, for services like this. And look, even a cool little fix-it station. So if your tires get too supple, you can fill it up with air. All right, so we made it to our destination for the day, Mystic, uh, had a lunch. And I think from here, we're going to turn around. But what do you think? I thought it was awesome. I thought it was a nice um, taste of the trail today. <laughs> um, really interesting trail. Lots to look at. Um, I liked the climbing and I really liked the descending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that beautiful part we descended, we're, we're going to climb right now. It's going to be hot and windy, so I didn't feel but... like filming. But <laughs> then we hit the top and then we descend all the way into Hill City. That so is we get true. to finish <laughs> with a downhill. <laughs> so we've ridden kind of two stretches from Hill City uh, to Pier, what you guys saw today, and also from Custer towards Hill City. And what's interesting is they're similar, but they do have like different flavors. I feel like the section we rode yesterday, which I didn't film, um, had a lot more kind of big rock features, felt a little bit, I don't know. I want to say more natural, but there was there there's more to it than just kind of a, a tunnel of trees. It was right. more, yeah, a lot of lot more like exposed to rocky bluffs. I mean, this had you know the two tunnels, which is kind of fun to to ride through and makes a cool kind of focal point for for this segment. So each each piece is a little bit different, is what I'm trying to to get at. So we we've heard about the Mickelson Trail for a long time, so it's finally great to come out here, and it is as good as they say. I think. It is. I think it uh, <laughs> it definitely belongs on the Hall of Fame. Yes. Yeah. Far exceeded our expectation. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you like this content, like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you found it helpful, educational, um, all those things, consider supporting the channel by joining us on Patreon or buying a sticker. We've got new patches. And as always, keep the supple side down.